With unprecedented restrictions on the way we live and work, many of us simply are unable to go out and work as normal. Prime Minister and London Mayor Sadiq Khan have demanded that we must all work from home unless it's absolutely necessary. Now, Boris Johnson is a politician and an ex-journalist. Mr Khan is a politician and an ex-lawyer. Like many middle-class degree educated people with that kind of background, they understand working at home as a natural and regular part of their life. But how typical is this experience? The vast majority, over 86% of workers, do not normally work from home. And of those who do work from home, a minority actually work at home, uh, less than a million and a half, or about 4.5% of the entire workforce. The others who are working from home are working as builders, cleaners, electricians, and so forth. They're working outside the home, but just use their home as an office. The evidence suggests that the number of workers who can work at home, even part of the time, is limited. There's simply no meaningful possibility of working at home, either now or in the future, if you work in industries such as manufacturing, hospitality, most retail, uh, and so on. Working from home is most common, in fact, uh, for uh, white-collar jobs, and particularly uh, for those in, in professional and managerial roles. The TUC has argued that we should uh, make homework more widely available. It's a win-win-win. It's true there's some evidence to suggest working from home leads to increased productivity and a fall in sick days, but this just simply isn't the case for every worker. We should be under no illusion that most of those who are currently forced to stay at home are able to contribute meaningfully to the economy, and politicians need to be very much aware of this when making policy about our return to normality.